Bibliophiles of the internet, my name is Adriana and today I'm here to go through my TBR for the Queer Lit Readathon which runs from June 10th to June 16th. As y'all know, here on this channel I celebrate Queer Lit all year round, 24-7, 365, but especially when it's Pride I always, always exclusively read Queer Lit. So I would have been reading a ton of queer things regardless, but then I found this readathon which is hosted by Rogan and Kathy, two booktubers who I love and enjoy so much, so I thought I would support them and specifically take part in this event. I will link their announcement videos with all the information about this readathon and the reading challenge bingo board in the description below. Also, they're awesome, so be sure to hit subscribe while you're at it. Now, the first book on my TBR is a buddy read that I may or may not be reading during the readathon, but I still want to mention it anyway, and that is Running with Lions by Julian Winters. This actually releases three days before the readathon starts, which is when I'll be starting it with my beautiful, glowing friend, Matthew Sharapa. So depending on the pace we set for ourselves, I'm not sure if I'll finish it beforehand or if it'll carry over into the event. This is Own Voices Queer Lit with a huge cast of POC characters, as you can see, and it's got soccer and queerness in spades. Stories with sports are my weakness, so it's fantastic to finally see this sort of crossover between like sports anime and queer lit. Honestly, it's the culmination of a lifelong dream. It's about this high school goalie named Sebastian who's going into his senior year with a team that's on the rise, until their summer training camp when his estranged childhood friend, Amir, shows up and threatens to throw the entire team off. So as things go from bad to worse, Sebastian takes it upon himself to reach out and try and make peace, but what starts off as a diplomatic move on behalf of his team might just end up in romance. This has everything I want. Soccer, childhood rivals, gay tension with payoff, training camps, soccer competitions. I may actually just explode from excitement. If I do read this one during the readathon, it will cover most recently acquired, own voices, contemporary, hopefully POC main character, and non coming out. My next selection is Peter Darling by Austin Chant. This is an own voices queer retelling of Peter Pan where Peter Pan is trans. In this version, he leaves Neverland to live as Wendy Darling, but then ultimately returns to Neverland when he realizes he is and always has been a man. But when he returns, everything is different. The Lost Boys have grown up into men and they're locked in a very real war with casualties on both sides. And on top of that, Peter is having to confront his budding attraction to his old rival, Captain James Hook. Again, this has everything I want in life. This book would cover own voices, trans spectrum main character, recommendation from a friend, literary retelling, fantasy book, and it sounds like queer realization as well. Then I was actually inspired when I saw this selection on Rogan's TBR, and that is The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. This is a queer graphic novel for young readers about young Prince Sebastian, whose parents want nothing more than to find him a future bride, but all he cares about is his secret life. At night, he leaves the palace and becomes Lady Cristalia, the absolute hottest fashion icon in Paris. The person who helps him pull this off is his best friend and royal dressmaker, Francis, who knows the truth. Sometimes, this boy wears dresses. Matthew actually recommended this to me months ago. I think this would be the perfect read to break things up during a readathon, and I'm very excited to get to it. This would cover the recommendation from a friend and graphic novel squares. If I have time, I may start Not Your Villain by C.B. Lee. This is the sequel to Not Your Sidekick, another queer YA superhero story, and this installment follows Bells as the main character, who is trans. What's cool about Bells is that he's a shapeshifter, so not only can he transform and disguise himself as all sorts of things, but he can also alter his body and his day-to-day -day appearance if he would like. In this story, when he and his friends discover a huge government cover-up and become labeled as the country's most wanted wanted villains, they set off on a secret mission to find the resistance and fight back. If I got to this, it would check off cover color, trans spectrum main character, POC main character, sci-fi book, and non coming out. And let's not forget that over the course of this readathon, Revenant Gun by Yoon Ha Lee will be released, and I still don't know what I'm gonna do about that. So of course, I have backups, I have backups for my backups, especially if I finish these books early or feel like I'm in the mood for something else, but that's pretty much how my TBR is looking for this event. I really hope some of you are planning to take part, and if you are doing so, please let me know in the comments. And even if you're not, please remember to at least try to read one or more books about queer characters this Pride Month, and maybe even, stay with me here, books written by queer authors, that would be great. But that's everything I had for this TBR today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will catch you on the flip side of the page.